If you clicked on this video, I assume it's because you're just curious <laughs> or you wear glasses so you know how expensive prescription glasses could be. Please, allow me to show you something. Hello, welcome to this journey wheel and because you clicked on the title, you know we're going to be discussing how to order prescription glasses online. So you probably clicked on the video one, either because you're curious, two, you probably <laughs> want to hear me talk or three you wear glasses and you know how expensive prescription glasses could be at brick and mortar stores or you just kind of fed up of the selection that there are at brick and mortar stores what i'll be covering in the video is kind of like how i ended up i'll just go over a little backstory as to how i ended up trying or purchasing prescription glasses online how to purchase prescription glasses um as in some of the things you would need to have and some of the terminologies that you should understand and three some of the websites that you can purchase prescription glasses on be it affordable prescription glasses being to the lower end or even if you want to look at a wider range of particular brand name glasses well frames um you know so some options <laughs> For you to purchase the frames. So, how did I start purchasing glasses online? I've been wearing glasses since the age of about 15 or 16, I believe. And how it works um, prescription glasses, contacts are covered under health insurance plans. So, my sister and I were under our parents' health insurance plan. So we used to receive a discount when purchasing glasses, although it wasn't necessarily our money, but we used to receive a discount. However, even in choosing glasses, you would always be limited to the particular store that you went to um, and what they had there. And we would spend like a good hour looking at the frames, trying on the frames, seeing what we like. And usually the frames that we ended up liking were more to the expensive end because I didn't like there's the metal frame. I don't like those. They're the rimless frames. I don't like those either. So even if I show you, well, if I can even find them, my previous glasses is always like some kind of the cutest I could get. So I know I used to have the BB. Um, I think my sister got Michael Kors. Like those are the frames you will get a bit cuter. However, they would be obviously more expensive at the age of 18 you're no longer covered under the health insurance plan so then obviously it will have to come out from our pockets and it's when i had to purchase my own glasses and i was looking at the prices i'm like i don't want to pay this money for a frame like no and then even when you pay that money from a far frame it's like you're stuck with it for the next two years or depending on how long your optometrist recommends that you have another eye exam to test your vision and it's like even sometimes i know people like when they purchase a frame even if they change the lens after two years they still use the same frame because the money it costs to purchase a new frame as well as pay for the lens it's like no bro <laughs> so anyway when i um the last time which would have been at least probably three or four years ago it's two years 2020 probably two years ago two years ago when i was updating my prescription i was looking at glasses frames and of course again the frames that i would i was looking at i was like i don't want to pay that money i also visited different optometrists and the selection is basically the same they give you the kind of almost cut eye but not really cut eye and all the frames basically look the same so when I finally came across a frame that I like it was a Tom Ford ah oh, you could just imagine the price and I was like you know what let me look to see if I see the frame online how much is it I'll probably bring in the frame and have them put in the lens uh, when I inquired about that they said they can't guarantee because they're not too sure um, if the frame would be able to take the lens and all the different tralalas, trilalas and I'm like okay I even look further and I saw that you could even do the um, prescription 
they you can do the lens online as well so anyway uh, I went online and I found the frame and it was a lot less and I also stumbled upon other frames well designer frames that were on sale so it had like some that were 70, 60, 100, 150 there were even some for 200 and honestly I was kind of willing to pay the price because of the variety so for me I, I was willing to pay the price and it wasn't necessarily about cost holy so doing further research I came across some low-end um, frames that look nice and for me like designer is not necessarily my thing my thing is once it looks nice um, however you see the if something is let's say it's Versace and the name of the other brand is Versace like I'm not on that however if it's like a replica the same design and it looks cute I don't mind things like that so for me it's like cuteness or nice like looking nice over like brand name or designer brand so once I found the site with like lower end I was seeing frames for like $30 $20 $25 they were even like you would see people posting prescription glasses $10 like I'm dealing with cute that's not for me so um, once I found these sites I looked at some reviews on YouTube and I felt comfortable like purchasing online so that's kind of like the backstory into how I purchased online um, with my last video which you can check out where I did an unboxing of the frames that I purchased from one of the sites that is my third time purchasing frames online also being the second time I purchased from that particular supplier or vendor merchant that was just a little background into how I got into purchasing my frames online so two now we're going to talk about how to purchase the frames online so you can be overwhelmed like when you go online of course there are like lots of frames to choose from etc um so we can take it into parts so first we can look at like selecting a frame so on many of these sites that you will go on to some of them have um categories in which you can search how you want to um like filter the frames so you filter by gender um age well age being children and adults right then you have unisex frames you have sunglasses etc then um you can shop by your face type they would give you recommendations as to the frames that would best suit your face shape right also sites have a virtual try on so you can upload a picture and you can virtually try on the frames now that works to a certain extent it's not 100 percent guaranteed but it still gives you an idea how the frame might look on your face what i like to do or what i have done as well i would go to the optometrist and i would indicate that i'm looking at some frames i would look at the frames that they have any that I like, any that may be unusual that I might necessarily gravitate towards, I would still try it on to have an idea of the different frame shapes and how it fits on my face. So you know you have an idea when you're looking online how this might possibly look on your face. So that's just a tip that you could do. Once you have glasses, it's something that you probably never paid attention to before, but if you take off your glasses, there will be three digits on the inside, either the left or the right arm, a three digit code separated by two dashes. So it will be a two, di two digit number, a two digit number, and a three digit number. The first two digit number is the eye width, if that's what you want to call it. So it will be the width from the eye width on one lens. And the other two, di two digit number is the bridge. So the bridge being the space between your two eyes basically on your nose so that's normally where the glasses would sit on your nose right so on your bridge then the three digit number is the arm right of the glasses being the length of the temple so how it comes behind your ear once you know how your glasses fit it gives you an idea of when you're shopping online what you're looking for the size frame that you're looking for that would fit you also even when you go into the store 
if you do that method by trying on glasses look in the arm see take note of the digits and how it fits this would be how wide the frame is on your face this would be where the bridge sits and this would be where it sits on your ear right so those things are important if it's too short it's gonna stop you know and not sit on your ear properly etc i know for me anytime i went to the stores they would say if i let like there would be frames that i like and be like no you can't use that because you don't have a bridge and the glasses won't sit properly and you need to get the glasses with the ipads because they don't have a bridge like honestly i don't mind pushing off my glasses for the entire day because it's cute and wearing our ugly glasses with the nose pads that's just me but okay right you need to do what works for you what you are comfortable with and this is what i am comfortable with <laughs> So anyway, so knowing the size of your glasses is important to know when you're filtering your glasses because on your websites they also allow you to filter by the frame size. Some of them even they would just generalize it saying small, medium or large and it'll give you a range of how they categorize it and some sites they even let you filter by if you're looking for a particular bridge width if you're looking for a particular temple arm so you would see the frames that suit that particular size in terms of actually ordering the glasses what would you need one you need your prescription two you need something called your pupillary distance so your prescription how do you get it when you go to get your eye exam, it usually ranges from 150 to 250 depending on which optometrist you go to. There are some places they make you, on top of paying for the eye exam, they make you pay to receive the prescription from them. <sighs> Nonsense. Go to an optometrist that once you take the eye exam, they give you a copy of your prescription. So one, you need a copy of your prescription. Now. You also need your pupillary distance. To measure your pupillary distance, everything on the glasses is measured in millimeters. There are rulers that persons purchase, but I'll post a link below to where you can print a millimeter ruler and measure it for yourself. Okay, so on that print, on the printout, it will have the instructions as to how you can measure your pupillary distance for yourself or if you have someone to help you measure it for you so the pupillary distance is the distance between your both pupils once you get to the stage to enter your prescription if you're purchasing the glasses you would see you have to enter your prescription on your prescription you would see distance and there would be right left you would see sphere cylinder and axis those are the three things you need to have to enter your prescription online for basic lenses so you would see distance r it will on the website you would see od and for left the marking would read os and you enter the prescription as you see it um, on your copy you enter it on the website because the lenses are so cheap i don't mind buying different lenses well different frames with different types of coating on the lenses so in my previous video again um i would have done blue lights on one lens which would have been my reading and for using computers and then i would have done anti-glare anti-reflective coating for my distance lens which i would necessarily which i would more use for driving right um and obviously you have the other type of coat coating and depending on your prescription as well as the coatings that you want on the lens it will increase the price so um, in terms if you want the photochromatic lenses if you want transition lenses um, all these things affect the cost of well the overall cost of your glasses however if you just take a basic coating anti um, anti scratch anti glare it's not gonna be too much so it depends on what you want your budget and what you're comfortable with so three the online stores where you can purchase your frames so I know if you look for prescription glasses online you're bombarded by FOMO while I like FOMO for some cute affordable glasses there's also Zenny optical and I kind of recommend them above FOMO um, Zenny is more affordable with 
some higher quality lenses. Fermu has some higher quality lenses as well, but I would put Zenny above Fermu. And there's also Glasses USA if you're looking for um, designer frames. So if you want your Versace, um, you want your Michael Kors, you want your Tom Ford, any brand designer frame. You can get it there. So some new sites that I came across being Zule and um, Vogue Me or Vogue Me. Um, I may try out Vogue Me and I of course, and I may try out Vogue Me and I of course would do a review if I do purchase from them. Also, I buy direct. I never purchased from them. I didn't really check out their sites completely, but they seem to have good reviews as well. And the most important tip is to do your own research so while you look at different videos still do your own research and get your own understanding of the different terminologies things that you need to understand to purchase your glasses online while this tutorial was for purchasing prescription glasses online you can also purchase non-prescription glasses online if you want to buy like sunglasses um or you just want some cute frames because you think like glasses are cute hit the like button if you learn something about ordering prescription glasses online if you're looking into purchasing prescription glasses online if you made it to the end thank you you're the real mvp so best you go ahead like the video and subscribe and look forward to more from this journey well.